Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Once again, welcome to New Mexico. One of my favorite places here. It's just uh, very unique uh, scenery here. I remember many, 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 many moons ago. There used to be a really large truck stop here before it became a pilot. And um, it was full service at the time. This was back in 1990s. But that was a long, long time ago. Once again, today it is Wednesday. June, uh, January 7th, 2015, local time here is 3.31 p.m., temperature is a beautiful 56 degrees. Hey Curtis, you're on YouTube by the way, is that okay? YouTube? I'm recording our conversation on YouTube, are you okay with that? Okay. Yeah, do me a favor though, um, you might need to cut the video because there's not enough bandwidth to support the video part of it. Just use the audio. Okay, and how about now? There, perfect. Much better. I'm in the middle of uh, New Mexico desert and uh, there's not enough bandwidth signal here to do the video call. So Curtis, uh, where are you from? Uh, right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. My wife received something in the yes. mail today. Was that you? Curtis? No, it wasn't for me. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, my wife received some uh, mail today, and one of it was from uh, North Carolina. I was just wondering if that was you. So, Curtis, how, uh, how did you find my uh, YouTube channel? Uh, I tell you, I've been, I've watched you for about a year now. That long? You know, I, I've traveled with you, I've traveled with you for about a year, but I've just silently sat at work, and I've watched all of your videos, basically ever since you got blue, and this is the first time I've kind of ever contacted you. Well, thank you for finally contacting me. Thank you for following me all these times. Yeah, so, I uh, I actually go into work early, and I will sit there and I watch I watch all your videos before I actually even start work. So you you saw the video called Hello Blue then, right? Oh, I've seen them all. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was kind of a funny video. They they stuck with me, they stuck me with blue with no instructions of what the bells and whistles and buttons were, right? I had to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. So Curtis, tell everybody. Yeah, I think I, I. Go ahead. Go ahead, John. I tell everybody about yourself. I mean, what do you do? How old are you? And you know. To tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm about like everybody else. There's not a lot to know. Uh, I'm 28. Uh, I 
work for an asphalt terminal, so I'm a terminal operator. Uh, basically, I just come to work and I sit there. And I really don't do nothing. <laughs> well, that's the best. Uh, that's except the best. watch your videos. That's the best paying yeah. job. They but, pay you. Uh, they pay you for doing not doing anything. Yeah, that's pretty well much it. They pay me for not doing nothing. <laughs> but other than that, when no. I get off work, I pick up my two girls and we come home and we just sit around the house most of the day. Now, I take it you're married because there's this little beautiful boy right here on your uh, profile picture. Is that your son? Oh, no, I've got two girls. Oh, okay. This Whose picture is that, this? The, yeah. The picture that you're seeing is my oldest daughter, and that was when she was around a year old. And she will actually turn three on the 18th of this month. Wow. That's... So, um, yeah. what's her name? It, it, it's an old picture. What's her name? Uh, her name is Allison. Allison? Allison. Okay. Yeah, AJ yeah. AJ will be turning 12 this uh, Saturday, I think. Then my, my youngest daughter, she will be... months on the 29th. Oh, so you got a newborn. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're both a handful. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you haven't seen nothing yet. I'm not trying to scare you, but uh, <laughs> the best and the worst, the best and the scariest is yet to come. Uh, well, I... I've kind of been there and I've seen some of the scarier parts so far, you know. Yeah, wait, wait till, uh, wait till they understand the power of shopping and uh, <laughs> they get really expensive real quick. Hello, Curtis. Uh oh. Or sprint to strike the again. Hello? Oh well. 28 years old with two kids. A good paying job. Nothing wrong with that. I hope he calls back. But then again, it doesn't show I have any Wi-Fi signal here. Hey, Barbara Miller. I'm sure you're loving this red rock formation things here. That's the same sprinter that uh, passed us a while ago. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Well, currently unavailable. somewhere on mile marker 31 so we're about 31 miles to the speedies truck stop over there in Arizona Yeah, 
I wish I had enough hours to make it from here to um, Phoenix, even north of Phoenix. But right now, I only have four hours and seven minutes. So that's roughly, oh, about what, 425 miles? Now from here to Flagstaff is 194 miles. That will only put me about 45 minutes available to drive. Here's what I'm getting at. I'm trying to time it where there's enough daylight to go through going to uh, Phoenix because you guys would really love that part over there. That's some beautiful mountains over there and cactus and But I suppose I could wait till daylight tomorrow and go through it, I guess. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, sprint the strike the yeah. game. Yep. So, Curtis, uh, where are you originally from? Yeah, uh, sprint for you. Where Where are you originally from? Uh, originally, uh, I lived in West Virginia. West Virginia. And okay. then I moved to to Charlotte, and yeah. I moved to Charlotte in 2008. And you've been there since then? I've been here since then. Alright. How about your wife? Where's your wife from? She, the same, the same area that I was from. So basically you guys moved to North Carolina for job purpose? It was kind of job purposes, but it was also some personal purposes. Gotcha. It, that, that's a whole other story within itself. Yeah. And we just kind of came here to, just to be to ourselves and get away from a lot of things that we didn't need to be around. Yeah, having a, a new beginning, new start, new place, new faces, right? Yeah, that that was literally it. Yeah. We came here with nothing, and now we've got our own house, and we've got two girls, and you no, know, you really just can't ask for much more. Yeah, we're, we're kind of breaking up here a little bit. Uh, Curtis, when, when I was in my younger days, I've always, I've always dreamed of taking a, a United States map and, you know, getting me like a dart and just blindly shoot the dart to the map and then just go there. All right, Curtis, you there? Well, we got we we got some family. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I was I was uh, saying uh, my uh, family's you know. Go ahead, go ahead. You said something about a a map of the United States and shooting a dart. Yeah, hardly know if you say that. My family, we've been involved in the trucking industry for a long time. 
Uh, my dad, he still drives for himself. And we've got some other family that lives here in North Carolina. And he has to go for Landstar. I think he's retired now. And basically he ran from North Carolina to Texas and California and back. And he hit a few places here and there. And what his wife would do was, wherever he would stop for for the night, she would take a uh, like a little pen, and she would mark that place on the map of where he was. So when he came home, he could look at that map and say, oh yeah, I remember being here and here and here. And when I was a kid, I went to their house and I never quite understood what it was about until I got older. And that's when I realized, you know, what was actually going on and a whole map. The Southern United States was just full of pins of everywhere he had been. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. Curtis? Hello? Yes. Yeah, I said that's... Yeah, that is very interesting. Oh, uh, man, I, I, I was saying in my younger days I wanted to shoot some darts. I wanted to, shoot, I wanted to blindly shoot the darts at the map and pick the the three best and just live there but I was too chicken to do it well you know it's never too late oh trust me it's too late with with a wife and kids and a dog and a house and payments that's something you don't do no more You still have Goldie, and you can go visit. Yeah, well. So, uh, what about any of your your dad, mom, and dad? Uh, what do they are they still around? Yeah, they're still around. Uh, they have their own business. Uh, in West Virginia, and, uh, he uh, he still drives his own truck, and, and uh, you know they just go day the day and do what they have to do. I see. What's it like? Uh, what's it like culture-wise, and and you know from West Virginia to North Carolina? Well, how big of an adjustment is that? the lifestyle and traditions and all that stuff. Well, really for me it wasn't a big change because I, I grew up basically living in the truck, going with dad. You know, we would go from different places so it really wasn't a change for me, but for my wife, it was a little bit different. She kind of wasn't used to certain things like I was. Yeah, it, it, that is... Uh, really, it's... <laughs> that is, seems to be true for truck drivers, right? I mean, you know, we, we, we see so much of each state, we don't... We don't always see the difference anymore. It's it's all muddled up in one big. You really, Curtis. We're we're having. You're right. You know. We're we're having a really you, hard time, you, Curtis. You go from. Hold on, hold on, Curtis. Curtis, we're having a little hard time uh, okay. connecting. And the. Uh, the audio is really choppy, and most of the time, uh, you're you're coming in really scratchy. Okay. So we'll we'll have to do this some other time, Curtis. Okay, John. All right. Well, we'll call you some other time. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
same. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. I imagine that downtown Gallup, New Mexico, and Sprint can't support the uh, 3G network. Oh well. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys later. Sorry about the uh, audio quality there. Yeah, I, I have to apologize on behalf of Sprint. Yeah. Later.